Hi, I'm Natalia Gray. You're watching YouTube and this is my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope that you enjoy. to my first three commenters on the last video to be featured on my next video be sure to comment and like my posts okay so this video is a 3d um, flower slash rose and I'm using the Wow Bell white monomer and I'm using the size for 3d brush I'm going to be using the Peach Puree Self Marbling Acrylic Powder and I've started this tip, I've used Bridesmaid as a base and I'm going to go in now with my first bead. Just grabbing the bead, draining it off for like one and a half seconds and placing it. I'm leaving it for a few seconds just to do its ping and then I'm going to start playing with it. It's when it starts going matte that it's mouldable and it's not slipping and sliding everywhere. So I'm going in with my first petal. Just pushing it out creating a little like the indents the veins that you see on petals and then I'm just lifting it up from the bottom but making sure that there's going to be no holes okay I'm going to go in with my second bead now to create my second petal I'm going to do the same thing, just pat it out, make it nice and flush to that nail and create those petal veins. Sorry, we're just a touch out of shot there. the third petal I'm really sorry that I was out of shot there third petal just grab that bead this acrylic really does give the nail depth uh, the, the petal depth because it's got the mixture of colours so it's perfect for doing 3D flowers I'm at marbling, of course. It's my absolute favourite acrylic of all time. Okay, we're just creating that petal shape. And then we're going to go in with another petal now. We're going to start layering up. So I'm going to go over those first two petals in the middle. I'm going to make a croissant type shape in this just to spread it out and then blend it up again just by gently pressing the acrylic into place. So we're not brushing, this is a pressing technique. slightly out of shot there and then we're going to do another one in between number one and number three 
so as you can see we're just joining those flowers together now join that up there and then back down and then our last petal We're going to put it just between the two. Again, that croissant shape and blend it, not blend it, sorry. We're going to pat it down. Okay, now we're going to get our middle bead. So the middle bead is going to be like a little spiral. So we're going to grab a nice bead and we just want that one, one touch. Okay, we're going to create a little hole in that. So we're going to make it like a little croissant and then we're going to bring the one side down and around to make it all curl in on itself. Now we're just going to do two petal slash leaves just coming off the bottom. So I didn't drain this bead just because I want to be able to manipulate it that little bit more into place. a second one just at the side of it okay bring that down to create that point and then create my vein and push it back into place because we want that nice finish And there we have it guys i hope that you've enjoyed this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe and um, hopefully you'll be featured in my next video so thanks for watching guys bye